you you talk about the joy that everyone is seeking. You talk about the exalted state of happiness that is so tremendous it is difficult to describe. I would wish that you would describe it. How do you describe joy? What Everything is joy? Is joy? Tell me what joy is, any one of you. What is joy? I describe. describe it. So I In can terms of energy, like waves of someone waves of joy or waves is it any? It's not energy. It's an experience. See, in order for me to understand anything that you have experienced, I must experience it too. It can't be gotten in intellectually through the mind. It can only be understood by experiencing it. Im imagine the highest joy you can have, then multiply it by a million and tell me what it is. Or multiply it by a hundred and tell me what it is. And that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, can you? The greatest joy you can imagine. Can you feel a, a high joy of something? Well, that invites me to be comparative, and that's good, because if they imagine the greatest joy, okay. multiply it by a million, you'd say? A hundred. A hundred. I, can you imagine? Okay. That's the experience you're speaking of. Yeah, can you? Imagine, it takes a high joy that you can relive. You see, I'm thinking of that bird, that seagull bird. Just by having a bird, there's a sense of lightness and freedom mm -hmm. through yeah. it. There's a, there's a lot of metaphor, the bird going through space and the clouds. Yeah. So the sky's the limit. The sky. And this is like flight. In the bird, the sky is the only one. I, I, I know this, I'm just trying Yet to each one reading it. that will only feel it to the degree that he's capable of feeling it, experiencing it. You see, if I think of it, and someone else thinks of it, it can be two worlds apart. Each one can only conceive of it in accordance with his own experiencing it. I'm talking about things that no one have, have hardly anyone has experienced yet. How can I describe I'm it to you? I'm aware of that, but it's just approaching, even through analogy, something of the height of feeling. Well, just the life after realization does that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. There's quite a lot on that, isn't there? <laughs> well, it cannot be transferred into what you want. You could give a few more experiences there. You mentioned not being stopped by red lights, by police from giving you giving a parking place. Oh, well, what Shelly's is asking me for now is to describe the exalted state, aren't you? Right. you That's really what I... You did a little bit in that. In what? Uh, what? With life like after realization. Yeah, that would do it. See if you can't get it into words. That I never. Certainly a beautiful feeling. I had only green lights. I would go down the West Side Highway at 60 miles an hour. And if there, if there was a jam up, everything stopped. By the time I got to it, there'd be a hole and it'd zip right through. I could go through impassable roads. You have clouds for me. Whatever I wanted was always right where I was available to me. That God in operation, does that explain the state? Somewhat. Where did that come in? It's yeah, it's in there at the beginning. The effortlessness of the state, Master. Right. How nature serves you, too. Things happen without effort. What struggle did you go through to 
have the light be green. Zero, the bottle, zero effort. The bottleneck open up. What? No effort. It's an effort. Everything falls perfectly into line for you. You could drop all effort, you'd be there. It takes effort to be limited. It takes no effort to be infinite. You are that. It takes how much effort does it take you to be a female? That's how much effort it takes you to be yourself. So all the effort you go through is to be limited. more effort. You want more words in with exalted? Is that what you want? It's, uh, I guess, in the, in the first part, you see? Delightful. Delightful. And then there he is. Dun, 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 dun. Well, those are like, you know, those are, are adjectives which, uh, it's impossible to describe this adjectively. It has to be like. It has to be a, a, a comparison which somehow strikes the imagination like could be like a long list heavenly. freedom from you know freedom from worry and freedom that's, but that's heavy uh, it's uh, I guess there's a little analogy some kind of a a, a thing which which is uh, comfortable peaceful Maybe I can use the book and get some words. You know, it's a, it's it's you know like Walt Whitman gets into an ecstatic state where a mood of, of, of joy and happiness, and then we get rhapsodic. There's that sense of the rhapsody of it, because when when you speak of joy and you speak of happiness, that's there that that high state which is only yeah. to be experienced, which cannot yeah, be described. The birds sing and everything. It's, uh, I mean, I'm groping. I'm, I'm just feeling that this is your first paragraph, this terrific promise of this thing, it's some kind of a, of a, it's, uh, it's, it's low key, I, I think, for, for the first paragraph. And maybe it's all right, but if we could just reach for just a little of the, the seagull soaring uh, in, in, in space, that, that total freedom. Maybe it's just a whole list of descriptive adjectives total freedom, uh, complete joy. Uh. I used to experience this freedom state looking out of the window 123rd Street and watching the seagulls fly. This morning I was watching a blackbird, what are they? Crows. One coming right over my head made a funny noise and began to watch him and they soar and they soar so high with the wind and I identify with them they keep soaring you don't have to move a wing and go as high as, they, as you want as fast as you want as far as you want with no effort that's freedom that's freedom and that's the freedom that you experience. That's the experience. Yes. Does anyone ever do that? I, I still do it. I, every time I see these birds, I I fly. I soar. I soar on a, the wings of the wind. And when the wind lifts me up, I go so high. It lifts me over the mountains in the north. What? As if you remember you were describing one time when you were walking down the subway in New York and it was raining. I guess maybe it sounds like you have your feet or something, but it was so terrific. There you were walking along, enjoying the rain falling in your face. Uh, and I'm enjoying things. every drop that ran down my face. I enjoyed it. It's okaying everything. That's, That's perfect. The 
It's to walk in the rain and enjoy every drop of rain running down your face. Oh, that's beautiful. See, it's that it's that sensation. That's that's that kind of feeling. If you could, because uh, that's so discriminative. Well, who's taking this down now? Are you recording? Oh, <laughs> um, it's actually okay. Everything that happens, everything that happens, yes. whether it's the rain in the face or the mud on the windshield. Total acceptance of the okay. universe. To add to the beginning part and further describing the state of exalted joy, it might be described as ever new joy welling up every moment and continuing to well up. Joy upon joy upon joy upon joy upon joy. Higher, higher and higher. Circle upon circles upon circles upon circles.